right. We need to give us some pimp ass headsets. We do need to get picked up by Logitech, all the free advertising we're doing. Uh, That's right. That's what we talk about before we start the show about all the people who should be sponsoring us. This is Chris and Megatron Malloy, Sean. We're talking through the medias and we are about to, uh, we're going to take it to the When the Bow Breaks trailer. This is uh, starring my man, Morris Chestnut. Little little trivia. What a name. Um, what a name. <laughs> <laughs> Morris Chestnut. Look, there's something that, that uh, real quick, there's something that you don't know about me and our, our uh, me and Sean's mutual friend. We have a friend named uh, Mike. And back in the day, we used to like this um, this movie called, um, you, you would probably remember this movie, Two Can Play at That Game with uh, Vivica Fox. <laughs> Morris Chestnut was in this movie. And it was he was bragging about how he was wooing all the girls and he was suave and stuff and debonair and and he's like his friend was like like Denzel and he was like better <laughs> better, better than Denzel yeah. and ever since then me and our friend Mike would always say I'm doing it better than Morris Chestnut so that, I don't know why I brought that up so you know people say I do look better than Morris Chestnut I mean my mom and me we agree so. That's about it. So anyway, this is a new movie called When the Bow Breaks. It's starring Morris Chestnut, and uh, I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen the trailer. Uh, me and Sean are about to check it out for the first time, and um, and we're going to probably, at the end of it, we're probably going to both agree that Spike Lee should have directed it or something like that. I don't know. but <laughs> Old Spike Lee. <laughs> let's check it out. All right. All right. Let's do this. Uh, give me a countdown. Give me a beat. Give me a countdown. In five, four, three, two, one. Go for Morris Nuts on the chest. We tried for a long time to get pregnant. <laughs> it really put the two. There he is! See, it just, just comes out right there. Are you sure you still want to be a surrogate? Yes, I am. Look at her eyes. She means it. Ooh. We do this. We just want to make sure that you and I are comfortable with it. We're down to our last viable embryo. The baby is your business. She took a home test. I'm going to be a father. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, surrogate movie. Mr. Mitchell is going to be taken in and charged with domestic battery. I don't have another place to stay. Yes, you do. Uh oh. Anna, we'd like you to stay here with us. You come into our house. Uh oh. Anna, Anna. I see where this is going. I love that dress. Okay, you can admit it. Hell yeah, Beautiful. especially when they got their baby in her. her. Yeah, she's lucky to have you. That must be nice living up in that. Uh oh, place. now I see what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that the that bitch getting familiar. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't be afraid of me, John. You're already inside of me. Ooh, that's what she said. You can do anything you want to me. So this is gonna happen. Uh oh, this bitch when is crazy. When you around me, this bitch crazy. My whole body reacts. Oh, they got a Marilyn Manson song. What do you mind? John, no. You need to be nicer to me. This is my baby. I will leave. That is our baby. She can't. Damn, leave. she's got them. When does it become a kidnapping? Never. She's got them by the ball. It is her child until she relinquishes that right. You're going to get more money. And in the eyes of the law, since it's inside of you, it belongs to us. She's dangerous, John. She could kill your baby today. That is true. Do what you have to do to bring my baby back. If she does anything to hurt my child, I'll kill her. Kill that bitch! I'll oh. him kill that bitch! Oh, damn, they cut it too short. Down will come, baby. Man. Got that, she put the rabbit in the baby crib. <laughs> oh wow so she throws a bunch of plan b pills in the cradle <laughs> <laughs> don't rejects. make me bitch <laughs> <laughs> no i gotta say this i'm gonna probably go in a whole different direction than than, than you guys but uh i want to get your what did, what did you think first let me and i'm gonna go into my whole political thing <laughs> 
first I was kind of like, ah, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. but then the bitch did like, ah, she had her little little snap, yeah, little, little snap. And I was like, oh damn, this is almost like another movie we saw the other day, the the Cradle Will Rock, and it's like yeah. a a different version of the Cradle Will Rock, where oh, the hand that rocks the cradle. You, yeah, the hand that rocks the cradle. Yeah, where the bitch gets clingy, and she, and he doesn't want her, doesn't want her, and so she snaps. You know, right. So. I think she's gonna. Someone's gonna die in this movie. Oh yeah, someone is gonna die. And, but here's the but here's the crazy thing about it. You're, the villain is in a perfect situation where she's got the ultimate, you know, uh, uh, bulletproof vest. The baby. You can't kill her because she's pregnant with the baby. You want to keep the baby alive. You can't do what she wants. Then you lose your family and all that. All this hell's gonna break loose and whatnot. She's then you got the. the she's holding all the cards. This is way deeper than the Handy Rocks the Cradle because this is this whole the whole thing about I guess surrogacy and whatnot. The eyes of the law. I think I've I've read that before. That that uh, yeah, you got the contracts and all that stuff. But if but the the state is all about. It's birth, not property, mother. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not like property. Yeah, it's human beings, but it's all about the, the the laws of the law. The woman who gives birth, like real birth, is has rights because, uh, like, uh, I guess emotional attachments and all this other stuff and whatnot. But then you can counter sue because biologically that's our child and blah blah blah. And we had a deal, and then but at the same time she carried it. It's a huge. I, I I didn't think it was gonna get that deep into it, but but over the years, like seeing like little stories she here and there, deep. and she wanted a deal, yeah. And then what was the what's gonna be her plan? She got an abusive husband waiting to like get in there and like we get some money out of these people and whatnot. Yeah, it's hard. a scheme. She's gonna it's, black yeah, out. but it's, it's you know what? You, you know what? I think you're right. I think this trailer gave that away. I think the whole of yeah, if they had just cut that one little scene and then in the out. coffin the diner or whatever, you would know. But like, yeah, she's he's he's in they, on it. They made yeah, like it's like they set it up to where he's From like, all right, I'm gonna punch you, I'm gonna give you a little mark, and then you're gonna go live with them, and then you're gonna sink the hooks in, and then we're gonna blackmail the shit out of this family. Yeah, because though, I mean. Uh, what I don't know, if, I don't know much about it, but from what I know, you you have to people who do this, like the two types of people, the ones that save and save and save and save and save and try to you know and, and do this, or the people like uh, millionaires who can afford. Because I, I heard it's not cheap to convince a woman unless you get a family, a friend, or something like that. But to, to get a woman a, pregnant out of you know not for no, her own. No, yeah. no the, the official ster- the, the official ser- surrogate because what they probably did was they took you know, her the wife's egg. Uh, the husband's sperm, and then she was supposed to be, you know, the the woman to care because uh, for some whatever reason the mother probably can't carry the child, so they hire a surrogate to carry the child, and then they give. And there's a there's professional surrogates out there. There's women out there who get pre- who do this for people for the money because the money is supposed to be real good. So, I'm sure the the potential to make some money off of some. Uh, you got real using, dark there. Your, your light. Of, it, it's like your a, light a rent, uh, yeah. My my damn uh, the light went out. Uh, <laughs> it, it's like using the, the the body almost as like rental property. Yeah, you have a contract from what I understand, but the the, the I I like what I saw. I'm really curious better. about this, and uh, yeah, you're beautiful, man. You oh my god, wait. <laughs> Drop that shake shit. I'm shake shit. <laughs> <laughs> but well, the political part I was going to go to now about the whole thing about surrogacy and all that, but the fact that we were talking, we were joking about the um, uh, what was that movie? Two can play at that game from the, from movies like that to where movies are getting right now. The whole strike about what's happening with the Oscars and all that stuff. I could have seen if I would have seen this trailer from my mind and the way things are in Hollywood and for what you know uh, from back in the day. I would have taken you. I wouldn't have been surprised if from that same exact trailer, beat by beat, uh, take out Morris Chestnut, take out the the lead woman, take out the, all the other characters, and insert you know typical you know uh, uh, white characters, and and that would <laughs> I, that, that would have been I, that would have it would have been the same exact thing that, that I just saw. But they did an all black cast. This and what I'm I guess what I'm getting at is for what, what and this is what I was saying. I probably saw something differently from what you saw when at the end of this trailer. I'm thinking I saw. I saw the that Sony gave a really good, what potentially looks like a really good script on a really uh, touchy uh, important subject line and uh, probably could be a really good thriller a good little uh, story to an all black cast and that's to me that's rare and and that's what the protest in Hollywood is all about about the whole Oscar thing it's not that 
there aren't any good um, uh, uh, actors out there. It's just the fact that the opportunities to get the roles are lower because they give it That's to bad. the top guys like the Tom Hanks and stuff like that. Well, I think the more we, uh, the more people get used to seeing it, it's just not something like you said. It's just not something we see a lot. So it won't be weird anymore if they just give them. Yeah, the, just yeah. push the movies out. And, and usually, like you pointed out, if if there's like a major black actor, he's going to be like a Denzel or a Morgan Freeman, and he's going to be embedded in a multicultural cast. He's not going to head up and although you know give hell mm -hmm. give dip Den, give denzel give morgan freeman their own black cast fuck it let them go with it you know get the people exposed to it and it's exactly. not shocking it, i mean it, it <laughs> once it's <laughs> well once it once it start once they start casting like uh, giving a, a full equal opportunities not just blacks i mean i'm talking about all races and Latinos. just for the, for the best for the person who knocks the, the roll out you know, knocks the, uh, the audition out and whatnot i'm thinking that it won't like you just said it won't be weird anymore it's like hey you got this black guy playing this major role oh that's cool he's got this asian guy playing this major role that's cool and, or this white guy playing this major role that's cool it won't be weird anymore because we know that everybody got a shot you know and if, once that starts happening more i think this whole thing with like diversity and the oscars and stuff uh, that stuff will be in the past once once hollywood starts casting with equal they're you know, they're too concentrated on it they're, we're too yeah. fixated on it no, What's about, well, it's, it's, it's to be fair. No, you know what? Let me be fair. Let me not be. Let me not protest the Oscars. Let me be fair. It is about the money. We're getting close. We're almost to a hundred. Click subscribe. Uh, tell your friends uh, if you have anything you want to, for us to talk about. Just just let it lay it on us. Leave comments down in the box below. Uh, as soon as we hit a hundred, we're gonna give um, Cap and Captain America tickets out. Um, and I can't disclose any information, but we've got something super secret and super badass coming out. Hopefully very soon, and uh, we will update you on that later. In the meantime, for me, keep watching the movies, playing the games, and killing noobs.